If you've been into any Chinese online shop, you probably have seen this guy, the Iboman brand. So what we have here is the Iboman RTX 3060. Iboman, the source power of AI, born for DIY. What? AliExpress sent us this guide. We're gonna be testing this out. We're gonna unbox this thing. We're gonna talk about design. We're gonna do some sound testings and a little bit of overclocking. We're gonna do all of that. And to top that off, we're going to compare that one against our older RTX 3060, which is the EVGA XC. So I've had this card for almost five years now, and I think this card is starting to have some thermal issues. Probably needs to have some repasting. So it's a good comparison to see how a brand new card against this like older card. You'll find a lot of these in the used market. Let's compare both of those ones. But before that, let's talk about our sponsor. AliExpress sent us this card and AliExpress always have good deals. They have sponsored this video. And if you go to their website, there's a sale going on right now. You pick the options, pick the parts there. I picked some parts. One of those items is uh, Iboman RTX 36. I've got coupon codes in here and a selection of products which you can buy from Aspris, which I handpicked, which could be a good deal for you, especially in this current RAM crisis. If you struggle to find some good deals, just hit me up, link in here if you need help. And let's go back to our review. One of the things that I like with the packaging with Iboman uh, RTX 3060 is this one came really well packaged and got that bubble uh, protective layer with the card, right? So that protects the card. In terms of design, it's a pretty basic design, right? It's obviously designed for the Chinese domestic market. You've got that red accent in there, a really big Iboman logo in the center of both fans. Now, in terms of length, this is actually much uh, slightly bigger compared to our EVGA RTX 3060, right? So it's slightly bigger, slightly. The shroud on the back is actually just plastic. Plastic, so it's really a bit cheapish. And it does have a little bit of ventilation at the back in there, not 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 much. It comes with three display ports, one HDMI, eight pin power connector, obviously. I go on, the power source of AI, born for DIY. I don't really know what it means, but yeah, okay, bro. So that's much of the sign. Let's proceed to performance testings with this card. So in terms of performance testings for this card, we're just running this uh, benchmark with Marvel Rivals at 1440p, our competitive settings. And this is the stock performance of the Iboman RTX 3060. We've run this for a while and this is the reading from our hardware info. Maximum clock speed at stock is 1935 megahertz. GPU power is 170 watts. GPU temperature at 69 degrees Celsius. Hotspot is at 81 degrees Celsius and fan speed is not bad at 1500, around 1500 RPG. Now, we overclocked this thing. We just did a very safe overclock and we just tuned it to 200 megahertz on the core clock and about 1400 megahertz on the memory clock. And this is what we got. So on the clock speeds, we we're able to reach 2130 megahertz. GPU power stayed the same. GPU temperature rose a little bit at 70 degrees. It's not bad. And the hotspot and temperature stay the same. Fan speed a little bit elevated, but not that bad. Now let's compare both the stock and overclock settings side by side. And this is what you get from stock going to overclock. You're going to get about like 8% more average in terms of average FPS, 7% more in the lows and on the 0.1% low. So it actually worked too quick. And I did uh, this uh, overclock and it did even fail, right? I kept this running and yeah, it was pretty stable. Okay, let's go to some sound testing with our Iboman RTX 3060. This is the Iboman RTX 3060 on idle settings. This is the Iboman RTX 3060 on stock settings. This is the Iboman RTX 3060 on overclock settings.
Now, Ivo Man RTX 3060 isn't really bad in terms of sound testings, right? It's actually pretty good. How does this card compare against the RTX 3060? Let's start with performance testing, okay? And this is how we have against the EVGA RTX 3060 on stock settings. And this one, our EVGA RTX 3060 is definitely like really close to thermal throttling in here. You can see that it's running at 80 degrees Celsius. However, in terms of performance, we're actually getting better lows with our Iboman RTX 3060 compared to the EVGA RTX 3060 XC. Could be margin of error, but I think this is more or less the thermal throttling issue with our EVGA RTX 3060. Now, when we compare the stock settings of our Iboman RTX 3060 against the overclock settings with our EVGA, so we tried to overclock our EVGA and we were only able to push about 200 megahertz on the core clock and only 800 megahertz on the memory clock. And that's because we run into thermal throttling issues um, if we push higher. And you can see that in here, boys, 83 degrees Celsius with our EVGA car. And in terms of performance, yes, it did get a little bit of performance, but you are definitely thermal throttling in here. Yes, you get better average FPS, better lows and better 0.1% lows, but you are thermal throttling in here. How about when we compare both overclock settings? Yes, it is unfair. Uh, however, that the Iboman RTX 3060 is a clock, uh, overclock better compared to our older EVGA one. But you know, it's just good to see. And look at that one, right? As I've said, we've got about 70 degrees Celsius on the Iboman with our overclock settings and really on the edge here with our EVGA card. The Iboman obviously is getting better performance because we were able to overclock better. Why don't we also look at the sound difference between both of these cards because there is a huge difference between both of these cards. Let's start by just looking at the stocks, uh, the sound of the EVGA one. This is the EVGA RTX 3060 XC on stock settings. This is the EVGA RTX 3060 on overclock settings. Let's compare both of these ones uh, side by side. The stock settings of the Iboman is on the left side and the EVGA is on the right side. Wow, that's a huge difference there, boys, in terms of stock performance when we compare both overclock performance this is what we get in terms of overclock uh the acoustic performance right so you're getting better acoustic performance with our iboman rtx 3060 a power source of ai and more for the analog okay so what do i think of the iboman rtx 3060 12 gigabyte i think this is a decent card in terms of pricing it's not cheap enough uh compared to mainstream brands like it's currently at about 298 dollars however you can put some coupon codes and it will bring the price down a bit now who do i think this card is for this is probably for people who don't have access to a decent rtx 3060 in your current market this is a, a good choice if you only have access to like chinese websites like aliexpress in terms of use rtx 3060s as you've seen on the teas these guys will come at about like five years is maybe like next year like around february next year this will be five years old so if you got those earlier ones you can never tell if certain cards are already like may need repasting so that's one thing to be careful about like unfortunately when you buy used cards sometimes you may not know you you may not have the opportunity to test the cards yourself so basically just putting your trust on the seller that it is on a good um good condition yeah that's definitely worth looking into on the next video we'll be testing this card the iboman rtx 3060 on multiple games and a lot of more modern games so if you're keen on that one click the subscribe button and i'll see you boys over there a power source of ai and more for the other one